So today, I want to talk about my job. Okay, I'm back in my kitchen because it's the only place that I have good lighting. Everywhere else it's like yellow and tint just, just doesn't work out. So I'm just going to keep going in this kitchen until I get better lighting. So about my job. I love my job now. I'm not talking about career-wise. That's in the future. I have an internship lined up and maybe I'll talk about that some other time. But my job right now as a college kid. I work at a retirement home. I'm a server and it's fantastic. So the deal is I show up around 4.30, and we start the setup. So we set the dining room up, we set up the glasses. If it's wine night, we pour all the wine out so that we can serve to the residents faster when it gets out there. And then we kind of wait until 5.30, and when 5.30 rolls along, all the residents decide to show up, and we serve them dinner. Probably the best part about my job is the residents. I mean, minus the fact that after we're done serving dinner, I could eat as much as I want, but still, the best part of my job is the residents because they just, they're very nice. Our residents range from maybe around late 70s to our oldest lady who's 99 turning 100 this year. She is the most wonderful person ever. She was a second grade teacher and you can tell she was. When she talks to you, she pronounces every syllable of the word, complete sentences, and is the most adorable thing ever. Like for example, when I'm getting dinner from her, so I sit down, I ask her, what would you like for dinner? She's like, Oh, for dinner tonight, I would like whatever she wants. And then she's like, and that, and then she would end the sentence with, and that's what I would like for dinner tonight. <laughs> the sweetest lady doesn't use a cane, doesn't use a walker, plays the piano, doesn't miss a tune. It's absolutely phenomenal that she can do that at 99. That is just one of the residents that lives in the retirement home that I work at. There's a lot of crazy people there. We, we used to have a guy who worked on the atomic bomb back in World War II. We have another lady who is like 87 and she doesn't look a day over 70. And she went hiking with some girl who came in and interviewed them just for a project of hers. And it was it just surprises me so much. <laughs> we have this other guy. We have this other guy who's also a graduate from my college. <laughs> and I came into work today and look at this, look what he had sitting out. But anyways, I could talk about the residents all day and how much I love my job, but I just wanted to bring up what I did for the pocket money I'd get at college, even though I spent it on comics and video games and other stuff that I waste my money on that I probably should be saving. The retirement home that I work at is a little high class. They pay about $5,000 a month to live there. So it's very high class. And I'm just, I personally would never pay that much for what they're getting. I'd rather just live in a house by myself or somewhere by the beach. But I mean, I guess they get free dinner and events and stuff. I don't know. You think that living there, you probably have to have a lot of money somewhere at some point in your life or kids that are making a lot of money to live there, that they'd be kind of rude to you. But to make it that far in their life, I honestly think that they had to be nice because all the people who are that rich and not the nicest people, I mean, I admit there's one or two not nice, not pleasant people to work with. But I mean, most of them are the nicest people I've ever met and I would love to have them as my grandparents. As a matter of fact, I've had a few of them offer me their grandchildren. It's weird when that happens. I kind of just smile and say, I'm okay and just walk away. But I honestly do love my job. and. I would not trade. It's the absolute perfect college job because it's just the same hours every day. I make my own schedule, which is fantastic, and it's all I can eat. So if it wasn't for that job, I'd probably be skinnier than I already am, and I'd be spending a lot more money on food. I only buy breakfast and, I guess, the occasional frozen food for when I'm not at work. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. I just realized that I forgot to talk about one of the most entertaining people at my job. So his name is Bob. <laughs> and I nicknamed him Hef because this guy sits at a table of five and he's the only man. And these ladies pamper him. I mean, they make sure his wine glass is always full. They cut all of his steak for him and they read him the menu. 
Like, what did he do to get blessed with that? Not only that, one time he forgot his dessert, so I took it to his room and he answered the door in a red velvet robe. Like, tell me that doesn't get any more Hugh Hefner than that. Anyways, that was just a side note I wanted to add in there, because he's absolutely one of my favorite people. Because nothing else special happened today, so I'll end it right here.